So hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. As I say, every damn time. <coughs> to bash me. To prime my face, I'm using two different primers, which are backwards. Two different primers. I'm using the Benefit Professional and the Freedom Freedom Pro Studio Strobe Balm. Smells uh like like sherbet is it? I don't know. It's um like like a bit like a dip dab or something. So to start I'm gonna do my eyes and that first. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. So I have kind of not a new way to do my eyebrows, like I do my eyebrows the same way that I've always done, but now I've started to carve them out and I think that makes such a difference. And I never used to think I used to be like, what a waste of time and now I'm like why didn't I do it years ago? And with the Freedom Brow Pomade, um, I think mine's in the shade Chocolate. No, Ebony, sorry. It's in the shade Ebony, so it's like the darkest brown that's not black, I don't think. Um, oh, well, I actually don't even know, I can't remember now if there's a black one. What I use is this Freedom, um, no, sorry, Revolution, not Freedom, sorry, uh, HD Contour, Green Contour Kit. And I'm just going to go in with this shade over here and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. And uh, if you notice, the brush is a bit fucked up. It's because Lola got her hands on it, well, should I say, her deed on it, and it's now chewed on one side, so. get my brow gel and this is just one from pennies I just run it through my brows so I put primer out not primer but I put uh, some of that concealer on my eyes I'm gonna go and do my eyes well one of my eyes and I'll be back because I don't know what I'm doing so if I make a ball to it at least I can stop recording so yeah I'll be back to you in one second okay I know I look a bit mental but it's just because obviously I have one eye done and like it looks, there's a bit of fallout and stuff here but obviously that'll be fixed so this is the kind of look I'm doing, it's like a purple spotlight eye and I'm going to do it on this side now I've obviously got you zoomed right in so I hope you can see a bit better and I'm just going to pat that right this is going to look so messy and you're probably going to be like ew believe me this will work Just trust me. So I'm going in with the white, which is Got Milk from Silva. Um, and I'm just highlighting my brow bone. I'm gonna just get a clean blending brush and just blend it. And like literally, you could be here for a while That's literally the longest part is blending your eyeshadow. Going in with an English shadow. I'll leave all the numbers of the English shadows on the screen just because it's too much effort <laughs> to be lifting them in and out of the pan. And this is the same brush I used to do the first colour, if you didn't notice. So now on a buff and blend BB12 brush, so it's just like a really small um, blender brush, I'm going in with Funny Face from Silva and I'm just going to tap it onto the outer corners, or the inner, inner and outer corners should I say. So I'm using a Real Techniques brush, this is actually a base shadow brush I think what they call it but I think this is great for blending out your inner corner your outer corner when you're doing something like this But 
little fifth to edge a little bit. So now I have my Catrice Camouflage Concealer and I'm just going to like cut the like spotlight. So this is a Filbert Li Liquitex Basics number two brush and it's a paintbrush literally and um, I was just watching Kaylee anyway's um, YouTube video just before I started recording and she said you will literally not buy it, find a better detail brush than the ones you find in the art shops. So I'm using the Inglot Eyeshadow Keeper and I'm just using this and I'm going to apply a little bit of an Inglot Pigment. I'm going to apply Inglot Pigment 112 and so it still looks like a purpley shade. But what I'm doing is I'm just patting this on basically anywhere I applied the concealer. I know that has quite like a blocky look to it, but honestly, it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, then I'm taking the sleek glitter liner. This is just the purple one. And I'm just gonna pat it onto my lid. So I don't know if you can see that, but it basically just comes out in a little, it come, up, it come out in a bit of a lump. So I'm just gonna pat that over my lid but I love this glitter I think it's so nice yeah I'm gonna go back in with that real techniques brush and I'm putting a bit of I don't know how to pronounce it hold on I sure read it off the palette and Mac Macadea from the masquerade palette and I'm just gonna pat that it's just like the dark purple from the palette and I'm just going to pat that on the edges and I'm just going to use a little brush to buff it out a bit. I got distracted, I forgot I was recording <laughs> and I just started blending in my foundation. So I'm using the True Match, um, L'Oreal True Match foundation and I just popped on some eyelashes. These are the Buff and Blend eyelashes in the style Tiki. I'm back in with that Catrice concealer. Just popping a bit underneath my eyes. It's the PS Pro Longwear Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent translucent. Anyone else have difficulty saying that word or is it just me? Industry. It's high for you. <laughs> it's all not over me. So while that's setting, I'm taking my LMD Master Palette and I'm going to take the shade Sculpt. And I'm going to do exactly that. And I kind of, I nearly bronze like all of my forehead because it's fucking huge. So to prevent people stopping you in the streets and asking you to do advertisements for them on your head, contour. I'm gonna um, bronze up or contour whatever away all my Christmas dinner. You know, with the peachy color in the LMD palette, and so it's the blusher and just apply some it's just a nice peachy colour as 
set on the feckin' tin and I have Edward Cullen hands all over again and if you get the reference as to why I'm saying Edward Cullen hands shout out to you you are a true I don't want to say fan I don't want to say supporter um, I don't have a name for my followers because you know like some people have like names for their I don't know what, what do you want to be called do you want a name no I wouldn't want a name I'd just be like yeah I like Chloe Leach or maybe you don't Maybe you don't like me. Whatever, why am I getting so complicated? See, I get just get far too sassy once the highlight comes out. The highlighter comes out and I'm like, yeah, bitch. I'm gonna steal your man. Because I ain't steal no man. Because we all know. Chloe don't like that shit. <laughs> when I do my inner corner highlight, so this is just uh, the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer. I'm not getting all over the tube and I'm just gonna tap it in and then I'm going to use the Inglot Body Sparkles in the shade 52 Okay, so for my lips, I applied the Inglot Color Play Liner in the number 321 Color Pops Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Marshmallow. And then on top, I put some of the High Shine Lip Gloss from Penny's, but there's no shade on it, is there? No. Let me know what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. There um, will be a little button somewhere here, probably over here this room <laughs> for you to click my face and you can subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next one bye